Welcome to the Universal Marketer's Guide New View Training Part 4. As you can see here on this page, guys, I've just finished uh, encoding or embedding my third video for the New View series, and the fourth video will be encoded just underneath the New View Part 4 here when I finish the video that I'm working on with you right now. So this is pretty exciting. I'm not I'm not just creating this video. I'm actually creating the video and showing you how I'm putting it all together on the page that you're watching this video from. So so this is the page of Google that uh, we went ahead and created. Uh, remember we're not gonna post any of this because it is copyrighted. But I did tell you that we were gonna go ahead and uh, do something with a lead capture page. Uh, if you'll remember iPodiums was our basic lead capture page uh, introduction tool for lesson 9 basic series. This, is this page right here but it is actually hosted by and templated by iPodiums. People will fill out this information and it's sent directly to me. I'm not really too happy with this page because I wanted to do more with it. But how can I do that? So now what we're going to do is use the technique that I showed you in last lesson. And I want you to right click. I need you to right click on this page. Now please keep this in mind. If you try to right click here in the middle of this page, you're probably not going to get your to copy the source code. What we need to do in order, in order to copy the source code of this page is go to either the far right or far left side. So let's go here to the far right side where you can see. Right click again. And what are we looking for? That's right. View page source. And there is our page source for the page uh, that we just looked at. Okay. Anybody? know what we're gonna do next select all now do you remember the shortcut I showed you on your keyboard last lesson let's go ahead and do that again remember it's control and then V so I'm pressing control V and then I'm gonna close this program or close that window and again this is my lead capture page on iPodiums now let's go back into new view now that we're back here in new view we want to go up to new we're gonna do the same steps as we did last time with Google does anybody remember where the source tag is was it up here on the top oh that's right the third one in from the bottom left thank you and we're going to left click and roll up highlighting all the text but folks, instead of hitting your right click paste, what I'd like you to do is hit control V. Control V. And as you see, the text that was on the other source page, here's the source page. We put control C to copy. We went to new view and put control V to paste. Now again, you'll notice these red uh, line boxes these are in fact what tables that's correct these are tables the reason why they're red because the table is said not to show up visibly on the bottom next to source is preview click preview and now you won't see the red lines at all this is what it actually looks like on the internet we'll get a little more into tables and how to make them disappear and, and stuff in part five but for right now, students, what's my next step? That's right, save the file. See that little red disk? That means you need to save it. Go up to the top left, File, Save As. Let's call this, uh, name it whatever you want, test one, whatever. And you'll see here, here's the new view how-to videos that I'm working on. So I'm going to save it right in there. This box right here is the only thing that you and I are concerned about. This is our lead capture box. Now for those of us that don't have autoresponders, for those of us who are just getting into this industry and really not sure what to do yet, 
iPodiums was designed for you in mind. Once you have your lead capture page, we can actually physically take this box out of this page, put it on any other page we want to on the internet, and anybody that fills in this box, all of it will go to our email addresses as a lead for us from iPodiums. Now that is cool. Okay, so how do we get this box of code out of our page? Simple. Guys, go to source and look in source. In this example, we're on line 111. And what we're looking for is iframe name. iframe name. And you'll see iframe name equals screen source code iPodiums you have to have an iPodiums account for this to work all the way down to end of iframe divide copy that open a new go to source and paste that's all the code we need and there it is is that not awesome? Now what we can do is save this as, which I've already done it uh, one time before. I did it as lead test one. So you could put lead test one or whatever you wish uh, on there. And uh, here it is, lead test one. I went ahead and centered it up. Notice this top bar right here. If you were to grab the left side where the arrows are pointing left and right, and move it to the right, what do you think is going to happen to that box? It also moved to the right. You capture page. Now what we can do is put our pictures up in here, put, uh, put some tables up in here and move this around where we want it, some, uh, some text and that kind of thing, save it and host it. And what happens is when somebody comes through and fills in their name and email address, even though it's on another page, because it's coded to the iPodium's lead capture system, uh, you're still going to be sent the email address, uh, and that is totally awesome. In our next part, we're going to talk about encoding audio and video into our web pages. Now, if I may be going a little too fast, getting a little bit ahead of you guys, there's no rush in this. Take your time. Do what you need to do, but set aside some time each and every day. I'd say one to two hours in a very quiet place where you can study this. You can get your hands on it, you can play around with it, and you can really find out perhaps a lot more that you can do with it that I don't even know yet. This is Wayne with the Universal Marketer's Guide saying, Have blessings, everyone.